So this is my new Black Soldier Fly Larvae composting bean. This design is not mine. I took it from Jerry from uh, uh, blacksoldierflyblog.com. I quite like it even though some people would say that it's a bit uh, over uh, complicated, but I find it's pretty good. I haven't respected the exact design. I've modified a little bit with whatever I have in, in hand. Uh, let's go for a little tour around and I'll explain to you from uh, outside in. So the most obvious part is this little spigot here. It's for the drainage. Uh, the, the PVC pipe goes into the bin and goes to the inside. And I'll show you some pictures later, but because now I have already uh, uh, filled it with uh, some uh, filter content here. Uh, this allows me to basically um, drain the, uh, the bin if I want to, or flood it and drain it later on. There we go. Let's go around. Here you have the output. So the soldier fly uh, larvae will be eating in this area, and as the uh, the pupate, the pupae will climb up this um, ramp and fall into the bigger PVC pipe and self-harvest into this area. Here I will put a, a container or whatever uh, to uh, catch these uh, uh, pupae. Now you can see here the, the lid. It's actually built uh, from two lids elevated with uh, a piece of PVC here. There we go. So the idea is the first lead will prevent uh, any water from the rain to go inside the bin, but the fly can still get into the uh, uh, the inside through the opening here, and an opening that I have cut from inside here. I'll show you a bit later on. Uh, I've held those two leads in place with uh, uh, bolt and uh, wing nuts, so I can remove them if I want to. Just like that. So the bolt uh, goes through the two lead. Let's have a look inside. So I can remove that like this. And here you can see that I have cut two openings here. Right in there. I left this uh, area uh, uncut here because I want to put the, um, the egg traps uh, in this location so that the fly, when they enter, they can go in and then if they want, they will uh, deposit the, the eggs uh, inside that uh, material that I will install in this place. And there we go. Let's have a look at the, the ramp. The ramp is built of um, a corner protector strips that I bought here. So it's quite a long strip see downstairs here on the floor. And uh, I've cut it and fit uh, in place with some uh, rivets. And that goes down and all the way up to this PVC opening. So there I had to cut the PVC here so that the, the ramp stays a little bit inside. If not, there's going to be a gap. Uh, between them here and there's a little gap which I filled in with uh, some hot uh, hot glue and underneath comes the uh, the drain pipe so it goes here and it forks out like that and like that and on all those pipes there's, there are holes on the top and at the bottom of the pipe so the water can come in the thing is I will let the spigot always open so the, uh, it's always draining and then uh, as the water uh, empties out the air can come from the outside in here and oxygen will come from, from the bottom of the bedding up. Uh, I covered the, uh, uh, the PVC pipes with some geotextile here so it lets water go through slowly and air as well. <clears throat> And on top of that, I have put some uh, uh, zeolite rock dust. Uh, I'll show you how it looks like. So 
days. So I could have used sand, but uh, I'm doing an experiment. I will charge the uh, the zeolite with uh, the uh, effluent from uh, from the the larvae, uh, and use the zeolite later on as a, a growing medium. But I'll uh, do another video of that. And on top of the zeolite, I've put some uh, cocoa coir uh, chip. So this is used usually for for mulch, but I'm putting on top of that. This will help separate the uh, the food from the bottom. And uh, so the water just drains through, but not the uh, organic uh, particles. So I'm trying to avoid a blockage on the holes that I've drilled in, into the PVC pipe. So now that it's filled uh, up to this level, I will now go and empty the, uh, the previous bin into this one. And uh, the food, so I'm expecting it to fill up to there and I will put fresh food on top of it and uh, that's it oh yeah and I forgot about this so, so the black band here is the velcro strips it's uh, actually an, uh, an adhesive that you can just like stick on the plastic there and this is to basically prevent the, uh, the larvae uh, the, uh, the pupae to um, climb up the wall and get out this break the surface tension and when they go and climb onto this velcro uh, texture they will fall back into the bin that will force them to go around and around and around and uh, then find the ramp and go up drop into the uh, the PVC here continue crawling and go out and drop into the output there alright last minute change I decided to paint the, uh, the top lid uh, with black paint uh, to restrict the amount of light going in because the uh, the larvae are photophobic so they are afraid of light and uh, an additional thing I will be using is a piece of cardboard or a uh, coffee bag uh, cut in uh, to the size of the inside of the bin and cover uh, the top this is to encourage the uh, the larvae to eat on top of the food as well and not just like uh, below uh, the surface uh, there we go ready Go. Yeah. And I can tell you, it's no worm compost at all. It's very thick and knotty. Look at that. Jeez. That's the. Uh, black soldier fly larvae frass apparently it's a very good uh, worm food so I will be using that on uh, the worms later on